Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shay and you can find me on most social media platforms at She's Basically. If you're following me on Instagram, you've probably been awaiting this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm a little confused as to why. Unless you're allergic to me, then you have a fair excuse. Otherwise, follow me on Instagram at She's Basically. But if you don't already know, I am a small business owner. I have a stationery brand called Paper Standards. And even beyond that, I just love stationery. I'm obsessed with stationery. I've been obsessed since, with stationery since I was a child. Um, growing up, my mom was a phlebotomist, so she always was studying. You know, if you know someone in the medical field, they're always studying. She was always purchasing highlighters, post-it notes, pens. I would sneak into her stash and take stuff for myself. So my love for stationery runs very deep, which is why I created my own stationery brand, Paper Standards. I sell customizable, refillable agendas. But for my people who are not necessarily in to agenda binders I wanted to offer a complete planning product that was already bound and ready for them to use if you don't want the custom so with that being said I did let my Instagram family know that I would be sharing some of my experiences dealing with vendors before we get started with the main vendor that I wanted to discuss um, I cannot recall the name of this vendor at all I'm gonna figure it out and put it here while I'm editing um, this was a no-go for me the processing time was just way too long i mean again it has been like the holiday season i know a lot of businesses have long processing times but it just felt like it took me like 20 22 days to receive and then once i did receive it i just threw these samples together just so i could test the vendors out so this is something that i kind of already had it's not formatted for this book size like you can see my logo is like in the spine of the book and that's not really the best formatting but again i just threw this together so i could see what the quality was like so this is kind of like off to the side when it shouldn't be so ignore all those things but everything else given i was not a huge fan of the paper quality it's not bad paper it's just that from front to back i can clearly see to the back um, my business is called paper standards which means that we have a certain standard for our paper i know for my bound product i'm not going to be able to find a vendor that has the style of paper that i offer for my refillable product and i apologize guys i don't know what all this rickety rackety stuff is going on with the um radiator it's quite annoying so i apologize in advance but um so i did lower my standards just a little bit but i, I just really wasn't a big fan of this paper this service if you need a one-off again i will put the name here um if you need a one-off this is probably a good place to go with but for me for buying in bulk not really my best choice so the purpose of me looking for this vendor is because um a lot of people are always constantly asking about vendors people are purchasing from overseas vendors of course trying to get the best bang for their buck but a big issue with purchasing from some of the more popular vendors um going through a resource like alibaba would be moqs and your moq is your minimum order quantity when you're dealing with a big factory and a big manufacturer that is servicing hundreds of thousands of people in alibaba they're going to be asking you off the bat i need you to buy at least 200 pieces 300 pieces 400 pieces 500 pieces some items a thousand pieces and as a new business owner or someone who's just trying out an idea you may not be in a position to do that so i wanted to find a vendor that catered to people who just want one product or if you need to buy in bulk you can so this particular vendor i came across via a instagram post from another business owner who had shared it so what i did was i went through and i bought a bunch of different products from them just to show you guys and test out the quality again these designs are thrown together <laughs> they are not formatted for these specific products that I purchased, you may see some white spaces that you shouldn't see. You may see some crop marks. Things may be misaligned. That is no reflection on the vendor and their quality. That's just the design that I personally uploaded, okay? In the future, if I was actually using this to produce a product to sell to my customers, I would make sure that the design is up to par, okay? So let's get started. So the name of the vendor is Docs Zoo, and they are located in Buckinghamshire, United Kingdom. I hope I said that right. No offense to the people over the pond. Buckinghamshire. Am I saying it right? I don't know. But it's called Docs Zoo, and they pretty much do a bunch of printing services. So if you're familiar with like, I don't want to compare them to compare them to Vistaprint because they do more than Vistaprint, but it's a, a publishing printing service that you can use. And even though they are in the United Kingdom, I didn't find the shipping to be crazy expensive. 
um right now i'm just trying to do this video very quickly so i just have the products with me but when i edit this i'll be sure to add what i paid for each product so just first impressions what i like about doc zoo is it's not 1000% customizable. So if you're working with a vendor from Alibaba that has a factory, you can give them all your specifications. They can create a sample for you and you can make sure it's exactly what you dreamed of, what you envisioned. On a service like this, they have a bunch of specifications that you can play around with, but you're limited to what they offer, okay? So while I found that it had a lot of great options to change things, it's obviously not 100% customizable. So please keep that in mind. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with some of the smaller, quick products. Um, I just got some post, some little postcards printed from them just because I wanted to compare the quality to Vistaprint and Moo.com and some of the other vendors that I've used. Um, they do have the soft touch material, which is amazing. If you have like a luxury brand or you wanna just give that extra oomph, extra razzle dazzle to your business inserts or any of your marketing, um, having the soft touch is a plus. So I love the soft touch. I believe these were like, Again, I'm going to put the price here, but I want to say they were like 10, 10 cents. They're really cheap. Um, so yeah, that's just the little postcards. I just wanted to see how the texture was, what the thickness was. And again, I will put specifications of everything that I put in this order. And again, the design was thrown together. So as you can see, like see that white line? That's my fault, not their fault, just to be clear. All right, so let's move on. And this is, again, for people that want to produce their own planner, notebook, journal, what have you. I got a few different options for us to look at. Let me, let me turn them around. A few different options for us to look at. And I know I've said this a million times, but I just need to say it again. The designs are thrown together. All right. So let's start with their glued notepad. This is one of my favorite products that I got on my order. Again, everything has the soft touch available. Now you can get matte, you can get glossy, or you can get the soft touch. To me, in my personal opinion, as a consumer and a brand owner, that soft touch is like nothing like it, okay? It's just so smooth. It has a very velvety feel. So this is offered in a bunch of sizes. I went with A5 because that's my standard size for my business already. The one downside of this product is that it is a glued notepad, which is great. Um, it has a cover, which is awesome, but the inner pages are not customizable. For inner pages, what they do is they give you options. You can either do square grid, like what I have here. You can do lines, or I believe you can do dot grid. That's pretty standard for notepads. Um, but the fact that you can't customize these inner pages, to me, that was kind of like a want, want. And I actually did email them and ask them if they could make any exceptions. And they said, no, at this time, they do not offer this service. But the reason I would still stick with them for this product is they're one of the only vendors that I've seen that offer a cover page for a glued notebook. And I will say when I have ordered glued notebook, or I should be saying notepad, it's a notepad, not a notebook. It's a notepad. There's no binding on the side. Um, when I have ordered glued notepads from other vendors like Vistaprint, this area usually has a very ugly brown adhesive thing going on. It's not attractive. So the fact that their notepad is very clean and you can add your own personalized cover. To me, that is a plus. Again, you cannot customize the inner pages. You can custom, you can choose, you can select the option of the style of page. And I believe that you can select the weight of the page, how thick you want the paper to be. But other than that, the only thing that you can do is customize the cover. And again, you wanna make sure that your design is right. Cause like for instance, I threw this together, this white line, my fault, not theirs. So just to be clear. So this is an A5 glue notepad and I'll be sure to put the specs and price here and again you do not have to do any minimums if you want to get one for yourself or as a sample for your business you can if you want to buy in bulk you can and I believe that once you start getting higher quantities your price actually goes down and the website is very user friendly it will tell you all this information as you're building your product all right so let's move on the next product is the soft cover notebook it's me guys. <laughs> Shout out to Christian Designs. This is actually my Instagram highlight cover. One of my Instagram highlight covers that Christian Designs created for me. She really doesn't do custom icons, but I asked her to and she did. So she'll try to beat me up if you go ask her to do it, but she might. So this is a soft cover notebook. Again, you 
are able to customize the cover. You can pick from colors. You can come with your own design. If you're not design savvy, which you should be able to use Camel without issue, but if you can't, you can design in their website, pick a color, add some text. There's not a bunch of fonts, but you can get the job done. Um, for this thickness, because based on the number of pages, I wasn't able to add any wording to the spine, but I believe the thicker that it is, if there's space, there will be an option for you to add wording right here. Um, but again, this is the soft cover notebook. On this product, you are able to customize the inner pages, but because I was just testing out the quality and I have a couple other products with custom inner pages, I just chose the line pages. I did them one side. I believe that you can do double sided. Um, pretty, pretty good paper. I went with a 32 pound, again, just to match what I'm already used to. This is not a bad product. So pricing and specs over here. I like this. I really like this. If you just want something simple and quick, um, this is a really nice quality product. Again, soft touch. I wish you guys could feel this. It's so velvety. Colors are vibrant. Anytime you're designing and you're looking at something on the computer and you're getting a printed product later, the colors may vary from what you see. So it's always best to just order a sample for yourself and maybe even play around with a couple of designs to make sure that it's what you actually want. All right, so that's the soft cover notebook. Let's move on to the hard cover notebook. That's me again, that's me with my planner. <laughs> All right, so this is the hard cover notebook. Again, I just threw a pre-existing design. This is actually a set of inserts from Paper Standards. So I threw that in there just to get an idea of how this looks. Um, paper is pretty decent. Not as buttery as the one that I sell for my refillable agendas, but it'll do for this purpose. Again, if this was thicker, I could have put something here on the spine. One cool thing that they do offer is that for certain products, you can actually request foiling. So it does drive the price up a lot, like, like literally at least $5 per piece just to get some foiled letters. But you do have the option of gold foil or silver foil. So again, if you want to kind of brand yourself as a luxury product, that may be something that you're interested in. It's all customized by you. So you can see how the price goes up and goes down based on what you select. So again, this is the hardcover notebook. I like it. I think I'm definitely gonna move forward with um, purchasing this for my customers, not this design. Obviously they don't want a planner with my cartoon on it, but <laughs> I'm gonna create a design custom for them, for the cover. Um, and I think I'm gonna offer it in multiple colors. I think that would be cute. So like, as you build up your planner stack, you can like put this on your desk and it's kind of decor as well. That's just the way I think. All right, and last but not least, the big dog. <laughs> so this is the coiled planner. Um, you can customize the cover. You can customize the inner pages and you can also do tabs. No minimums, no minimums. So there's some pluses and some some pros and some cons, okay? So, so bear with me. Again, I have the soft touch uh, material on the outer cover. The downside to, it's not really a downside, it depends on what you like. Again, I know I keep saying luxe branding and things like that. As concerning what's popular, gold coils are very popular. This vendor does not offer gold coils. They only offer black, white, and silver. Ooh, that's mad fingers. Black, white, and silver. <laughs> they only offer three color coils, black, white, and silver. So if you can get past that, cool. Now, if you want to get gold coils, absolutely do your thing. I encourage you to because I love them myself. But you're either going to go with a vendor that has a high MOQ, and that may not be in your budget as a new business owner, or you're going to go with a vendor that has a low MOQ, for instance, something like, uh, what is it called? Stationary IQ, I think it's called, stationaryiq.com. They offer gold coils, but this would have been like $35 just to, just to get it created. So when you go to sell it to somebody, what are you going to sell it for? Like, you know, that's not, there's, there, it leaves no room for you to really profit pro properly. So again, price and specs on the final cost of this particular book. I did add in the tabs. My con with the tabs is that the text, the font on the tabs is not customizable. So whatever font, this font, whatever this is, that's that's all you get. They do have colors that you can choose from. For, the, the. <laughs> they do have colors that you can choose from for the tabs, but in my expert opinion, the rest of them are ugly. 
the white is really the best that you can do and i will put the colors that they offer here um so yeah if you're fine with keeping it simple and not having your gold coils i think the the black is really nice it's really sleek um if you have a darker cover i'm sure the white is nice and then silver is kind of standard for coils anyway so if you're okay with missing out on the gold then that's that the only thing with the tabs if i were to customize this product with a factory i would ensure that my cover extends beyond my tabs again that's just me and that's just how i would do it but when you're dealing with a factory you're going to have those minimums and that may not be in your budget at this time or this may just be a project that you're printing for yourself and it's not that serious so you have to think about these things if that's something that you want or not but like i said if it was me i would want my cover to extend beyond the tabs especially since the tabs are not customizable as far as uh, font size of the lettering uh, color of the tabs um, they look like they're just literally laminated tabs <laughs> nothing really to write home about but it is a nice feature for such a low-cost vendor it's not really something that you're gonna find at a low cost for most vendors um, I like the coil product because it can lay flat on someone's desk which is a really nice selling point if it's a desk agenda that they're gonna be using every day or a calendar calendar that they're going to look at daily it's nice that it just lays flat versus something like this the hardcover notebook you can't you know you can't lay that flat so to me this is like okay decor it's going to be sitting up i'm going to pull for it whereas this is just open i see my plans boom bam i go through with my day and i can see everything here um so again paper quality you can choose the weight of the paper i always recommend going with a nice thicker paper that just makes your product more luxe um but if you have a really big document and you don't want it to be so bulky then maybe a thinner paper but again play around with the options um buy different options of what you're looking for just because this really wasn't that long as far as my the date i processed my order so when i received that i want to say it was no more than 15 days which is not bad because usually if you're dealing with a factory overseas just to get a sample you may be waiting four weeks so this is pretty good to know that i can put something in production and have it in about two weeks so yeah this is a really good option doxu is a really good option if you have some designs that are ready to go and you don't really want to deal with um sampling with a big factory another thing about going with a big factory for me to just get one of these is their regular price Whereas if I was getting a sample with a factory because they are creating a custom mold to create my sample and doing extra work for one piece, which is not what they normally do, the sample is going to be three, four times the price of the one unit of the product. So going with a vendor like DocZoo, where they don't have any minimums and you can do a one-off for the same price, it's just like a no-brainer for those who are ready to get started now. So yeah, I know that was kind of like quick let's get into it in more detail based off your questions i feel like if you set me up with some questions that you have about doing a planner a journal a notebook um in this style in a bound style then i can have a follow-up video that's more detailed but i really just wanted to show you the products i'll do some close-ups of everything so you can see i wanted to tell you about my experience with doxu i would absolutely use them again i will absolutely use them again again they are based out of the united kingdom um my total was not i probably paid outside of the products that i showed you i also got like some posters done i probably paid like 100 bucks for everything and 20 bucks for shipping i did not pay a lot total price that's what i paid okay so it really wasn't a lot it wasn't a big investment just to get my samples and now i'm ready i know what i like i know what i don't like i can turn around and go order my actual products um so yeah if you have questions about doing that leave them below um if you want to see anything like a bit closer or you want to get into more about how to actually design the inner pages because that would take that's a whole nother video <laughs> but yeah i think this is a simple project that most people can handle if you are savvy on canva it's going to be super easy for you if you're not computer savvy and you have not used canva i do recommend getting into some tutorial videos canva is very user friendly you could literally type in planner template and planner templates will come up now if you're going to be selling to the masses do i recommend just slapping a template on a product and running away with it no i don't recommend that but at least the template will give you an idea of layout and how to get started always put your own spin on it put your own flavor on it make something that your customers are asking for that they're looking for um and just be unique with it because i wouldn't say stationery is a saturated industry but a lot of people sell planners 
calendars, journals, notebooks now. So just make something unique because you literally have a million and one options. Like your design options are endless, your color options are endless, your the way you brand your product. Oh, we can, we can really get into it. If we want to get more into it, let me know what you specifically want to know about this whole situation of putting these notebooks and planners together and then we will get into it until then make sure that you're subscribed and of course follow me over on instagram at she's basically like i said unless you're allergic then you have a doctor's note and it's fine and i'll see you guys soon i'm just gonna do a little picture for my thumbnail i never know where to look <laughs> all right talk to y'all later